Hi, did you notice that there's a new season out on the PC servers? Because if you didn't, then download the update and I'll see you in the game. But that's not what I'm talking about today. I'm going to tell you about what's coming next. In this video, we'll check out the Russian PTS, new upcoming content and fresh events. So let's drop it like it's hot and off we go. We start off with the novelty for the rifleman, SA Helion. The SA Helion is a modified version of the Croatian VHS-2 ballpup assault rifle released by Springfield Armory. The novelty has high base damage, good range and rate of fire. In addition, you can install mods into it, including unique ones. The weapon also has unique inspection animations. The first mod significantly increases the magazine capacity without having negative effects. The second mod increases damage by 55 points reduces the rate of fire by 30%, increases recoil slightly and reduces accuracy. Be sure to comment what you think about the novelty down below, but one thing I can say for sure, it looks gorgeous. Also a new agent is Grizzly Set. This tough as nail lumberjack from Canada will soon reveal his backstory, but not yet. In the meantime, I'll let you in on a spoiler and tell you what items you'll find in the Agent set. The set includes the Agent Grizzly Rifleman suit, weapons from the Woodland series Agent KG-36 Assault, Tech 9 and a Black Hawk, as well as camouflages for the regular versions of these models. And lastly, a set of achievements and the Bear Claw charm. As always, the Agent content will be available in special contracts which we will announce in an article on our website in due time. Now, let's move on to the main dish of this update, the Winter Brawl event. Get ready for the mode itself, a lot of cool rewards and a thematic section in the game's interface. The main rules of participating and winning in the Winter Brawl mode are no different from Team Deathmatch, but the combat conditions and gameplay are all new. After the participants are divided into two teams, the battle will begin on the bridge's Christmas or Christmas hangar maps. During the match, various power-ups will appear on the map. You will see timers reporting their appearance as well as their locations on the minimap. There are four types of power-ups. The first one, Rocketman, will add a rocket launcher with an unlimited number of ammo that recovers over time to your equipment. It will also increase your protection from explosions. The second one, Pyro, will add a flamethrower and a Molotov cocktail to your equipment. The third one, Juggernaut, will replace the character model with a familiar miniboss and will also give you a heavy machine gun with unlimited ammunition. In addition, you will become virtually invulnerable, with just two vulnerable areas, the head and the reactor. But in exchange, you will lose most of your mobility. You will move more slowly and you won't be able to slide, jump, squat and help allies double climb. The fourth one, Ninja, is the complete opposite of Juggernaut. All your weapons are replaced by a single katana with increased characteristics. In addition, your mobility is multiplied by increasing your running speed, the duration of your sprint, you get the ability to climb taller objects without allies and the noise from your footsteps will be reduced. In addition, the duration of your slide will be reduced. Power-ups can be switched out. All you have to do is to approach the special power-up on the ground. They also appear after a player's death and are guaranteed to appear multiple times per match in random locations on the map. To win a match, one of the teams will need to score 150 points before their opposing team does. If this doesn't happen before the timer runs out, the team that scored the most points wins. But the main rule of the mode is to have fun. So write in the comments, are you excited about the event? In addition to the mode, there will be thematic content. A very merry holiday-inspired weapon series is on its way. The weapons in the series can be modified and you can get the festive camouflages for the regular versions. The series includes Ancient KG-36 Assault, AK-47, Fabarm, Sega Peaks Copperhead, SR-2 Verisk and M40A5. In addition to the weapons and camouflages, the series includes a thematic charm. In the store you will find a new skin, the Arctic Trooper suit. 
The skin has a different look for each side, bore face and blackwood, and can also be installed on any glass. We plan to prohibit its use in ranked matches, like all other skins of this type. If you want this skin to be allowed in a RAM, be sure to let us know in the comments. Along with all that, you will also find festive equipment, camouflages for weapons, a box with a present weapon series and a charm in the event shop. Also, be on the lookout for parts, weapons and camouflages from the winter series and festive items. All these can be purchased for the event currency at a discount and some of the items you can get absolutely for free. Of course, we don't intend to leave the rest of the content unchanged. We will make many more improvements. Watch out for the news on our website. That's it for me, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let us know in the comments what you think about the upcoming content. I'll see you next time. Take care.